the industry is is challenged by the lack of understanding of fragrance and perfumery. The industry is making an enormous effort to try to be safe for the consumers. The Research Institute for Fragrance Materials is main focus is looking at the safety of fragrance materials from the spectrum of human health use all the way to, through the environment, what happens to it when it gets into the environment. The Institute focuses on gathering all of the scientific literature on the material and um, evaluating all of the data through an independent uh, expert panel. And then they provide guidance on how a material should be used. And all of the standards are available on the, on the web. Several years ago, we published what we call our ingredient palette. And that is a list of those materials that are in use commercially, that are in any fragrance worldwide. I think it's unnecessary to ask an artist to provide his recipe for anyone to see. What I think is fair is for the industry to communicate to the public the raw materials that may have been used. We smell tons of things every day, every day, concentrated things, much more concentrated than anything that's on the market because we have access to the pure things. So, and I've never heard that a perfumer died losing his nose. We would know, we would know. It's been thousands of years that there has been uh, perfumers. And people have to know that the quantities you need to smell are tiny, tiny, tiny. Even when you smell something very pungent, you think there's a lot in the air or a lot on your skin. If you do the calculation, those quantities are so tiny, like negligible. And that's why we have a nose. It's to detect this thing before they become significant. Consumers should always feel that they, they can enjoy fragrances without any kind of concern.